Yo guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another one of Geordie's Beer Reviews and this one we're looking at Creek Boon Belgian Fruit Beer Specifically, Lambic Style Beer So let's have a wee read first of all Creek Boon, now most of this is in Belgium so I can't read a lot um, 250ml Lambic, so that's a, that's a Belgian style fruit beer Usually cherries, raspberries, that kind of stuff um, Basically um, beers that are brewed with wild yeast, so sour beers, your sour beers, your Belgian sour beers, and this is this is one right here, and this is straight up from Belgium as well. And I know that because the back of it is in straight up Belgium, and I can't, I've unfortunately not got the abilities to read Belgium. Yeah, ingredients. I can see the ingredients. That's all. <laughs> ingredients: water, barley malt, wheat. Cherries 25% and hops. I like that that it says cherry 25%. So there's real cherries, real cherries, 25% cherries in this. That's good. No artificial flavours. Brilliant. Uh, bottle cap. Bottle cap. There it is. And this is just a, a wee 250ml bottle that I picked up. I picked up this single bottle from Tesco for, I believe it was 180. Or 160, something like that, around that mark. Around that mark, anyway. Let's crack it open. Bit of smoke, bit of bubbles. Let's get into the glass. And I've chosen this, it's a wee bit of a fancy glass. It's an ice cream, it was, it was for an ice cream sundae, you know. But I thought of using it for this. The thing is, it's really awkward to drink there. Because that's got a wee thing there. I don't know, I just thought of using it because it's a cherry. It's a, it's a kind of special beer in a way, so here we go. You'll probably see me fucking up the pour or fucking up the drink. The drinking. So I'm going to just leave that there. Sparkling red appearance. Dark red, cherry red, definitely with cherry red. Smells amazing, I can smell that from here actually. Put this here, put the bottle here. There's still a wee bit left in the bottle. Because I want to be careful with this glass. I've got quite, I, I should have probably used a different glass. <laughs> I probably didn't think this through. Um, let's go with the aroma. Sour. You are getting cherries. Yeah. Definite cherry smell, definite cherry, 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 cherry. What about a bit of a sour malt smell? Soury malt smell, I would identify that as. Actually smells quite, it's strong on the aroma. It's strong on the aroma. It's not strong overall, it's only 4%. Um, the aroma is strong though. Um... Yeah, so, cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink Creek Boon. Cheers. That's bloody lovely. That's lovely. That's really nice, guys. Um, well, it's not too sour. It is sour. There's a sourness about this. Um, you are getting cherries. Wow. Powerful cherry taste, which is absolutely lovely. I mean, massive. I love cherries. I love this. It's really pleasant. It's well balanced. I would say well brewed too. It isn't over the top in any way. It is sour. But it's not as if you're going to go, ooh, it's too sour, you know, it's fine. The sourness is there, you can identify that yeast. Um, the, wild, the wild yeast that they use for this, you can identify that. And it's really pleasant. It goes well with the cherry, the, the cherry, the cherries in there.
Mm. Well balanced. Extremely drinkable. Refreshing as well. Um, yeah, I love that. Let's see if I can pour the rest of this in here. So, Craig Boone. I'm sorry I can't read it in the back. In fact, you know what? I'll load the computer up and I'll, I'll see if I can get that in English. I woke up on and tapped actually. I'll take you guys over to the computer area and I'll read the back of this. Okay, so it says here on Untapped, I'm looking up on Untapped. For this speciality, we use old and young Lambic beer that has aged in our oak casks. When the Lambic is six months old, we add 25% black cherries. This provokes the second fermentation. We then, we then clarify, filter and bottle it. The cherries and young Lambic creates a red beer that is both natural and fresh with an absolutely unforgettable sweet and sour taste. This is creek as it should be with nothing but real cherries and lambic. There is no place for artificial colouring or flavourings. I like it, exactly. Definitely doesn't taste artificial, it tastes really real. Uh, let's go back to the beer area. There we go. Right, so yeah. So, as it says, all natural, nothing artificial, which is amazing. Um, I'm glad I picked this up. I really, really like this. I really like it. I would love to try this on draft as well. Um, the artwork of the bottle, really nice as well. Pretty cool. Like the artwork. You've got the cherries there. Big white writing. Creek Boon. And it's got a nice wee neck wrap as well there. The top. It says 2020. So that means when it was brewed. It was brewed in the year 2020. So last year. Yep. Very, very glad that I can get this in the UK. I got it in Tesco, and I've seen it quite a few times. I've just never really bothered to pick it up or try it. But <laughs> damn right, I'll be trying that again. Um, so yeah, I really like this one, guys. Gonna have another wee drink of this. Oh, see if I can pick up anything else. Right at the end, you're getting that sourness. <clears throat> Whew! Yeah, you're definitely getting that sourness in the end. Um, but, it's, as I said, well balanced, sweet, sour, balanced well. And that lovely cherry taste comes right through, bursting with cherries. It's bursting with cherries. Absolutely bursting with them. Um, you know. Cherry beer, cherry lambic beer from Belgium. Cheers. Mm hmm. And that glass actually worked out pretty well. This is an ice cream sundae glass, but I chose this because it looks fancy, you know? And I thought it would go well with this. So, um, my final grade on this one, guys. I think it's absolutely superb. I really do. I'm going to give that a straight up 9.8 out of 10. 9.8 out of 10, guys. Honestly, 9.8 out of 10. I love it. Um, you know, it's, always, it's just a way I score things. If I was to give it a, if it was a 5 out of 10, I would give it a 4.8 out of a 5. You know, maybe I should start working with scores out of 5 because 10 is a bit much in it. I mean, you've got 1, 2, 7. Um, but 9.8 out of 10. 4.8 out of 5. Personally, my personal opinion. I absolutely love it. I think it's bloody incredible. I would definitely buy it again. Um, if you offered me one of these, hey, Jordy, you want a Creek Boon? I would be like, hell yeah! You know? Um, so, yeah, Creek Boon, guys. I would definitely say check it out. It's worth it. And it's pretty cheap as well. It's under £2 in Tesco supermarkets. 160 or 180, something like that, you know. Um, it's 4% as well. It's pretty weak, but at the same time, you could polish a good few back, you know. Definitely. I mean, if it was anything higher, then, I don't know. If it was like 5%, it might be a bit 
And it might have, might have got a 10, who knows? But 4.8 out of 5, 9.8 out of 10 for a Krieg Dune. Love it, guys. Definitely check it out. It's brilliant, it's worth it. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Goodbye. Take care.